Hi, welcome to John's Metal Detected Adventures. Here we are on day two. I'm John Bradbury and I'm with my mates metal detecting on this awesome field where loads of things have come out. Ancient history. So I've got my mate James with me. Hiya James. Hiya. What do you think of the field pal? It's great, it's this field. I've had loads of things up here. Uh, hammered, gold coins off this field. Uh, looking forward to, to today to even find some more. Scott, what do you reckon? Well, this is the very first field that I did last year. And at the time last year, stubble was up here. And uh, I'm looking forward to finding some hammered. Just found this medieval spindle whirl. I don't know if you can see, it has a nice little design. Skirt weight, probably Victorian. Skirt weight lead. Oh, a bit more pottery. It's got flowers on and probably a tree or them, something like that. All right, so I was digging um, a lead ball and I looked over. And look at that. I don't know what it is yet, we'll find out. Oh yeah, I'll be able to get some detail off that. Let's see what it is. We've got some sort of coin there that could be plated. We're not quite sure really what it is. There's a lot of design on it. Maybe a part of more of that Victorian pottery with the tree, I think. Oh, there we are. We have a sash buckle. Probably First World War to Second World War. Sash buckle. Oh yes. We found a ring, probably a second world war ring. Hammered. Brilliant bit, what number was it on your machine? 21. 21. We'll figure it out later, but... And it's been in, made into a love token. Early 20th century, at least. Blue glaze. Uh, last time it was oh, for Sabina. God, this one will check it out and see what it is. Just get it on. Yeah, yeah can you see? I can see it. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. In the back. Oh yeah, man. Oh, fantastic. Oh, it's not all. Whoa! Let's see. Hammered. And the, ha the hammer has come to me. Let's go. Let's just see. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Got it. Absolutely incredible. We hammered there, pal. Absolutely super. We definitely got it there, man. Some sort of Victorian, I think that's a wet weight or maybe a button, but um, dress weight, I think is what that is. Um, George III coin, half penny, uh, musket shot, uh, and you've got a bullet there, Scott, and that, don't really know that one. Axial maybe? Could be a vaccine, I'm not sure. I found a hell of a lot of uh, World War II buttons. Wow, I think I found that many. I'll have to, I'll have to set up a museum. Right, okay, right, this is what I found. There we go. So we've got... Uh, oh yeah, I'll have to bring that to, uh, to, to your attention. Uh, 41 pence, English. <laughs> <laughs> right, there's a military button, different regiments and also I'll see look, we have there. Uh, got musket shot. Uh, and I don't know what that is. But yeah, that's a musket shot flattened. Bullet there. Then we've got a um, part of a spectacle buckle, 16th to 17th century. This I'm not sure. Not sure there. Nothing. No. Oh, it's just like uh, James's. Yeah, it's just like James's. So it could be another skirt, skirt one. And that's another large. That's a large, probably Victorian um, skirt, little lead weight. Uh, then we have a sash buckle. Don't know. I don't know what period. 
well, let's just say early 20th century. Not very good, but it's definitely a spindle wheel. There's, oh, there's design. There we go. It's look like it's got like a cross on it. Yeah, cross. It's part of religious. No, look. Roman. Some sort of Roman, I think, uh, Roman bronze. That's what I've got. <laughs> now, good day. Yes. Your cracking day you've just had today, haven't you, mate? Yeah. Okay, let's go through your finds now, man. So he's, he's found some rings. It's a sort of a ring there of probably uh, Second World War brought a ring there. What's this, mate? Oh, no, flint. flint. Flint, yeah, look at that, flint. So someone's been napping. Uh, look at all these variations of buttons he's pulled out from shirt buttons to military buttons all this kind of stuff that's a lot mate and then we got yeah, Chinese coin look Chinese coin would you believe that um what's this mate is that is that we think it's um Roman yeah I think we we thought that that was we can't really get any Roman. detail but Roman size, bronze. I believe this is also yeah, Roman bronze. Oh, yeah. So a couple of Roman bronzes there. Done all right there. A lot of half things and quadrant things and stuff like that. Denarius. Oh yes, he's got a denarius. Focus. Look at that denarius. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful that. And then, of course, he's got an hammered. Ha ha. Hammered there, mate. I part I think it's two thirds of an hammer, but Two thirds of an hammer is better than no hammer. First hammer. Anyway, hammered. Jolly good. Brilliant. So, this is what we found, guys. So, that was our finds for today. And we're back on Thursday on a ploughed land that's been ploughed 12 inches. They've just taken the potatoes off. And I can't wait for that because this particular field, we had an awesome time last year. when Milo we had Denarius. He had, he had the Denarius. I've had Roman, Hammered, all sorts out of this field. And the farmers ploughed it. So tomorrow's going to be really exciting. So we've got James um, with us as well. So all three of us, we're going to be on the, what we call, the potato field because they just took the potatoes out. Making chips later. Watch out for the green light. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up. Pass on, please, if you, if you don't mind. And we'll catch you tomorrow. And I love a great adventure.